What the fuck is going on over here? It's a, it's a van. Well, I heard noise, but I didn't know what it was. You yeah. can hear that way over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was curious. The, the, I don't know if you remember, like, two or three weeks ago, you came and knocked on my van. Yeah, I did. Was there anything you were expecting to accomplish from that, or...? No, I just didn't know who was in it or what the deal was. Just like right now. I mean, if I, I already know who's in it now, I would go over and knock on it again. It's not safe to be parked in a vehicle with it running for carbon monoxide reasons. I don't I might know have that a car or not. Well, I might have a carbon monoxide detector for all you know. I don't know. But it'd be, it'd be nice to, to be safe, isn't it? Sure. Well, it just... Is, is it good in the world that people care about each other, or...? Is that, that is important. It yeah. just, um, for myself and my partner, we found it a little suspicious that yeah. someone well, would be but, knocking but, but, on our van. you know something else that I did that day? That, that following week, it was really, really cold, and there was a bunch of tents out here by the river. Mm -hmm. And I went out there, and I, 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 I at the, in the evening, and I opened each tent, knocked on each tent, to see if there was anybody in there to let them know there was a place they could go. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. That's a nice thing to do. I think it is. Yeah. Well, I, I guess that's the kind of person I am, but that apparently isn't what you are. Why so, do you say that? You have a good day. Why do you think I'm not a good person? Well, you think that it's something suspicious that people care about somebody and, and they try to look after each other. Well, the you thing is... That, that there's an obvious motive, so apparently you have a guilty conscience because if you study psychology at all, people that always think that someone else is up to something, they're themselves, they're the ones that are really up to something. Well, the thing that I found suspicious about it was that the car wasn't running at the time, and I don't know if you heard us making noise or something, but well, I thought I we were... I saw the van moving. Oh. Well, yeah, it just, it seemed like, I mean, I don't know if you know what casing means, but, like, the idea that you thought that somebody might not be there, it seemed like, because we thought maybe a friend of ours was knocking on the van, and we just... No, 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 I, I, I saw a vehicle there, and I saw somebody moving in it, that, and I'm a previous firefighter, mm -hmm. and the first thing that popped in my mind was the good possibility somebody could have been in the vehicle, it could have been running, and they could be suffering from monoxide poison. It couldn't be running right now because it's stalled. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to check on that person to see if the person's alive and if they're in need. Because someone that suffers from carbon monoxide poisoning, the longer they go, the deeper it gets into their system. And I don't know, maybe it would have ran out of fuel. Sure. Just like right now, I heard the van running. Apparently, I, I know that's your van, but mm -hmm. I still come over to find out what the noise is. Okay. But, I'm sorry that you think it's suspicious that I care about people when I check on them, because it's people like that that need to change. Have okay. Nice you too, man. Peace.